Okay, today we're going to look a little bit closer at the piano roll in LMMS, Linux Multimedia Studio. So I have a new project here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an instrument. So I come down here to my instrument, I'm going to choose one of these pianos. I'll drag it over here, and then we can close this window by clicking on there. Now you can see I have my piano uh, instrument here. If we right click on the beat under, uh, editor here, we can uh, choose open in piano roll. And so now we have our piano roll. Now we can draw in notes like so. And you can drag them up and you can hear what they sound like as you drag them. And you'll see that you get this line showing you back to what note you're on on the, on the piano here. Now you'll notice that right now uh, these look like eighth notes here that I'm drawing. That's the default. Um, usually right here this will say last note by default since I had changed that. It was set to eighth note. Eighth note. But what last note does is, as you'll see, um, I'll draw a note here. And it's an eighth note, but now if I drag it out, it remembers that I changed the length of that note, so the next one I draw is the same length as the last one. So it constantly remembers what the last note you drew wa was, and it'll use that note as the next note. So that's a nice little feature. Now if you wanted all your notes uh, to be the same length, you can choose what length you want them to be. I'll choose eighth note here, and I'll just draw some notes in here. And so once you have your notes drawn, you can just press play up here. And you see it will play your loop for you. Now, if you want to move any of these notes, you just grab them and you can drag them up and down. If you want to remove any of them, you just right click them. And if you want to select any of them, just hold down control and draw a box around them. And you can draw a box around a bunch of them. At the same time down here at the bottom, let me delete this and we'll grab these notes and drag all of them over here. So you can drag many notes up and down or left and right. Down here is your note volume. So if you want some notes to be quieter, you can make them quieter. If you want some notes to be louder, you can make them louder. So now if we play that, you'll hear a different in volume, difference in volume on these different notes. And you can see it correspond over in the red over here when it gets real loud. Okay, I'm going to delete all that. Now, uh, another thing we can do is it does recognize your QWERTY keyboard as a music keyboard. So right now I'm just banging on my regular computer QWERTY keyboard. If you worked with pretty much any other music editor, most of them uh, use the same notes uh, in, in sequence. You have your bottom row uh, is, is two octaves and then the top row is, is another two octaves. Uh, and we can press record here and you get your metronome going. Right now we're going at uh, 40 beats per minute. And you can change that as I showed in the past if you want, just by scrolling up and down or dragging up and down on that number there. But we'll press record, and I'll... And you'll notice that it automatically is quantizing to the nearest 16th note, uh, which you can change here what you want it to quantize to. And basically what that means is, uh, whatever, whenever I hit a note, it's going to automatically put it to the closest 16th note. So uh, if you're a little sloppy in your music, this is helpful because it will keep you in time if you're just slightly off. Um, so at this point, we can hit Control and select a bunch of these and move them over. Now, at the same time, you can change the volume of these. If you want to emphasize some notes, you can move them up or move them down. And you can play back what you just recorded. Now, also, as I've shown you in the past, you can choose this instrument if you have a MIDI keyboard, uh, such as I do. You can go to MIDI input and choose that keyboard. And now, I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard, as opposed to my QWERTY keyboard, which I was playing on earlier. For those of you who don't know, a QWERTY keyboard is your regular, just letters keyboard that you normally type on. And a MIDI keyboard is like a piano.
And we can also do record in here. Now you'll notice when we're recording with the MIDI keyboard, if your MIDI keyboard is pressure sensitive, the volume will change depending on how hard you hit a key. So let me actually delete all that and I'll record again and I'll hit real light at the beginning and I'll hit real hard. And you can see the difference in the volume of the note on how hard I hit on the keyboard. And that's just if your MIDI keyboard, which I think most nowadays do accept uh, the pressure sensitive keys. So, and if you decide that something was too quiet, you can always come back and change that. One last thing I'd like to uh, show you here, which I've only played with a little bit, is this, uh, basically it's a loop record button. So, uh, I'll draw in a few notes here just to give you an idea. So let's say I have a beat going with this synthesizer here. Now, if I hit this record loop, it's gonna keep recording on a loop. So I can hit, so, but now you see it's playing back what I just recorded, so I can play over top of that now. Which could be a useful feature if you know what you're doing, which I obviously don't. <laughs> but that's how you can do a loop and just uh, play over and play over and keep recording over that same loop until you get what you want. And if you decide you don't want it, you hit Control A to select all and hit delete to delete them. Um, I think that's about all that I'm gonna go over in the um, piano uh, roll today. Um, also, I guess I should mention, you have your draw tool, erase tool, and select tool up here. So you can draw, uh, right now I'm left clicking, I can choose erase, and then I can erase with left click. And if I draw some again, I can now hit select and select with my right click button. I prefer just to leave it on draw and draw with my left click and as I said earlier if you right click it will erase and if you control click you can select box select a bunch of things so I hope you enjoyed this it was uh, using LMMS which is Linux Multimedia Studio um, using the piano roll which is a very useful tool uh, for more video tutorials like this visit filmsbychris.com it's Chris with a K the link is in the description uh, have a great day.